This was a really interesting roundtable where we had everybody from public health to jails to sheriff, police chief, uh, school superintendent, uh, fire chief. You know, everybody was around uh, this table talking about the fentanyl epidemic and how it is destroying lives and impacting uh, Wenatchee, Chelan County, but I'm hearing this everywhere in the district. And it's really heartbreaking to hear what this is doing to people and families and to the fabric of society. So we talked about solutions and what I can do from Congress. Finally, we have some teeth because we have uh, drug possession being a gross misdemeanor. So law enforcement has teeth to get people into treatment, but the treatment is not sufficient for the scale of the problem. And so the need for more treatment and more resources for people who are addicted. In the Congress, we have put uh, tons of money into Border Patrol, Department of Homeland Security, increased detection of fentanyl and related substances. We need even more because this is flooding into the country. I mean, enough flooded in in 2022 um, and was confiscated. So that's just what's confiscated, tip of the iceberg, right? Uh, to kill every man, woman, and child in this country. It is, that is the scale of this problem. Obviously, we, we have shifted our thoughts over the years from dealing with the supply and the demand and also the treatment. The, the rehabilitation is obviously a big thing for us. We're looking at it holistically from the standpoint that, yes, you've got to go further upstream and try and have your preventative measures, uh, trying to uh, get people to recognize the dangers of drugs, and also what are you doing with the folks that are already full-blown addicted to the drug and how do they get out of it. Throughout my career, I've always seen that there's always a drug that's prevalent within our communities. Those drugs do seem to be the motivator for a lot of people committing crimes because it is able to provide them with means to feed their addiction. Uh, we understand that addiction is strong. It's hard to combat. Uh, fentanyl is just the newest drug that we're now having to combat. And as I can imagine as soon as we come up with a solution for this, there's going to be another drug that's going to replace it. So how do we think on a bigger scale? How do we combat this to say, we're going to try to figure out an answer to just dealing with addiction because no matter what, drug we knock down, the addiction is still going to be there. So we need to start focusing on that. I think once we get a hold of that issue, that is going to assist us in fighting some of the crimes that we do face. Um, I am the co-sponsor on multiple bills, some to help fund law enforcement, uh, some to help boost uh, detection of, of drugs in other countries before they even come here, uh, some to protect law enforcement, um, but others just to make sure that we get funding for treatment. But what we're hearing here today is it's still not enough, that Medicaid reimbursement for inpatient treatment isn't enough. Um, and so, you know, getting Narcan into homes and into schools is one way to help, but also really boosting the capacity, more doctors, more nurses, more social services in communities to be able to meet the demand.